My name is Lucinda Matlock. I went to the dances at Tatterville, and I played Snap Out at Winchester, and one time we changed partners, driving home in the moonlight of middle June, and that was when I found Davis. We were married and lived together for 70 years, enjoying and working and raising the 12 children eight of whom we lost ere I reached the age of 60. But I spun and I wove and I kept the house and I nursed the sick. I made the garden and for holiday I rambled over the fields where sang the lark and by Spoon River gathering many a shell, many a flower, and many a medicinal weed shouting to the wooded hills and singing to the green valleys. At 96, I had lived enough, and that is all. And I passed to a sweet repose. What is this I hear of sorrow and weariness, anger and discontent and drooping hopes? Degenerate sons and daughters Life is too strong for you. It takes life to love life. I'm Lucinda's husband. Oh, what a woman she was. Through our bond, we were both free to develop our souls. Suppose it is nothing but the hive that there are drones and workers and queens and nothing but storing honey, material things as well as culture and wisdom for the next generation. This generation never living except as it swarms in the sunlight of youth, strengthening its wings on what has been gathered and tasting on the way to the hive from the clover field the delicate spoil. Suppose all this and suppose the truth that the nature of man is greater than nature's need in the hive and you must bear the burden of life as well as the urge from your spirit's excess well I say to live it out like a God sure of immortal life though you are in doubt is the way to live it if that doesn't make God proud of you, then God is nothing but gravitation, or sleep is the goal.